everyone. Uh, so today we are going to continue with our lesson, and this is uh we are focusing on penulisan section B. Okay, so today we are going to focus on penulisan section B. Now make sure you have your book twenty five with you, so you can write all the notes given. Okay. Alright, now this is exercise 1. Uh, remember this is section B. Section B has 15 marks. The 3 marks is from your information transfer. And another 12 mark is for your formatted writing. Which is your emails or your letter or your uh, message. Alright, so this is exercise 1. Uh, study the mind map below. Answer the questions that follow in the space provided. Okay. So now, the question given is how to avoid being a bully, uh, a victim of bullying. Okay, now let's look. How do we write it? Alright, now let's look at the question. Now, you have attended a talk on how to avoid yourself from being bully victim. Write an email to your friends to... Write an email to your friends to tell him or her about it. Write answers between 50 to 80 words. Now... You have to remember when you write an email, you only have to have at least one paragraph. Okay. Now, three paragraphs is when you put the first paragraph of greeting. Okay. Remember, you have to have introduction or greeting. I want to tell you about. Okay. What is the title? How to avoid ourselves from being a being bully victim. Okay. Very simple. You have you just take from the title. You have to introduce what you are going to write. Alright, now the second paragraph is the content and then the third paragraph is uh, the the uh, conclusion. Thank you and bye. Enough. Or thank you or see you soon. Okay, and then signing off is your name. Okay, remember uh, emails does not need your signature, just your name. Alright, now let's look at the uh, content. Okay, the content is the most important part. Eh? Alright, so there are... Four content given, okay, four content given, but you only choose three. Why? Because you want to make sure that you do not exceed the the 80 words, okay? Tak lebih daripada 80 words. So, you choose only three, alright? Now, you can see here, number one, number two, number three. Point number one, point number two, and point number three. Alright, the MI here is the main idea. The main idea is the one in bold, the one hitam ni, okay? So, you just add, you must show confidence. Then the second, the supporting detail, you must make eye contact with people. Just take the first uh, point. Alright, same goes to the second one. Get support from your pen, friends. You must get support from your friends. Okay, and then the D, you should always walk with your peers. Always walk with peers. Okay, you, you just make it into a sentence. Next, number three, you need to learn to defend yourself. Okay. Take from here, learn to defend yourself. And then uh, the supporting detail, you need to be brave when someone try or do some, try, uh, someone say or try to do something bad to you. Alright, full stop. And then you skip one line and you write, thank you, bye. After that's all from me, bye. Or I write to you soon, bye. Remember? And then sign off, new rule. Okay, you remember you have to write it in a... Email. Okay, how do you write it in an email format? For answer two. Usually there's two and from right, but this uh, this time there's only two. So two Anita at gmail dot com. Subject. Ah, uh, subject is the title tadi. How to avoid ourselves from being bully victim. Okay, and then hi Nita or dear Nita. Remember we always use dear, kan? Dear and your friend's name. Comma. Skip one line. I want to tell you about. I want to tell you how to avoid bullying. Full stop. And then you start your paragraph. See? You start your paragraph. You must show confidence. You must make eye contact with people. You should get support from your friends. You should always talk with your peers. You need to learn to defend yourself. You need to be brave when someone say or do something bad to you. Okay? So this is the content. And then you skip another line. And then the signing off. Thank you. Bye. And then your name. Okay? So all of this is 67 words starting from Hainita. Okay, remember you count your words starting from hi Nita or dear Nita. Okay, so that's very easy because because you just take from the 
information given. You just make it into sentences. Buat dalam sentence saja. Okay. Alright, let's go. This is exercise 2. Okay, almost the same thing. Study the mind map below. Then, answer the questions that follow in the space provided. Okay, teliti peta minda di bawah. Kemudian jawab soalan-soalan berikut di ruang yang disediakan. Alright. Now, uh, before we did is the uh, uh, how to avoid being a bully victim. This is also a factual. Factual tu maksudnya fakta. Bukan story, bukan cerita, bukan apa. Fakta eh. So, the importance of practicing healthy lifestyle. Okay. So, help us to prevent... Uh, chronic disease, boost energy to our body, improves our muscle strength, improves our mood to perform daily activities. Now remember, it also have four uh, points, but we don't want to take all four. We only need, we only need three. Okay, but this time it does not give us any supporting details. You have to think about all your own supporting details. You can take from the text here, from the points given here. Okay, so you have to know what chronic diseases are. Apa chronic diseases ni? Penyakit. Penyakit yang critical. Okay, mari kita tengok. Let's see. Let's see the question. You have attended a talk on the importance of practicing healthy lifestyle. Write an email to your friend to tell him or her about it. Write your answer between 50 to 80 words. Same thing. Okay, we choose one. Okay, one help us to prevent chronic disease. Two, boost our energy. Boost energy to our body. And three, improves our mood to perform daily activity. Okay, so one, two, and three. Now, make sure you also have three sentences, three uh, points. It will, take number one, help us to prevent chronic diseases such as. Okay, for this one, the supporting detail is the example. Apa example dia? Apa contoh? Heart attack, diabetes, or high blood pressure. Okay, and then number two. Boost energy to our body. It will also boost energy to our body. Okay. And then add some detail. We have more energy to do activities. So, kalau dah banyak activity, kita boleh guna activity, guna energy tu untuk buat activity. We have, we will have more energy to do activities. Okay. Very simple. Just one sentence je. And then number three. Improves our mood to perform daily activities. Mood. We are talking about mood. Okay. So, number three. It will improve our mood to perform daily activities. So, kalau improve our mood, what will, what will we do? What will we feel? We will feel happy and confident. Okay. It's very easy. So, you have to write the sentences in the paragraph or the email in your book. Don't forget to write intro. Okay. Intro, don't forget. Hi. Your friend's name. Dear uh, Aiman. Okay. I want to talk about, I want to tell you about the, uh, what is the title tadi? Okay. And then write the sentences. Write the paragraph, satu paragraph. And then, uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Or that's all. Thank you. And then your name. It's very easy. Okay. And then don't forget from, to and subject. Subject tadi itulah. The importance of, uh, the importance of, Practicing healthy lifestyle. Okay. Uh, this is very easy. Make sure you write this in your uh, book 35. Alright. So, uh, we have uh, importance of uh, practicing healthy lifestyle. Now. three. Now, this one is uh, almost factual. But this one is uh, different beca because you are given a poster. Alright, now let's let's look at exercise 3. Your school is looking for volunteers for an open day next month. Write an email to your friend to tell him or her about the benefits of being a volunteer. Okay, so this is what you are going to write about. When you have your paper, you have to underline this one. Benefits of being a volunteer. So this is your subject or this is your title. You have to know it. Okay, write your answer between 50 to 80 words. Okay, now look at the, uh, the, what is this? A poster. We'll look at the poster first, okay? Uh, ignore everything, just focus on the benefits. It has five benefits here, okay? Now, if you don't know how to uh, elaborate, kalau kita tak tahu macam mana kita nak tambah, so kita just ambil je lima-lima. Okay, this time kita akan ambil lima-lima. Okay. Number one, develop new skills. You have you make it into a sentence here. It will help us to 
develop new skills. Okay, number two, it will also help a course that lights you up. Okay, number three, you can meet new people and make new friends. Okay, you can also connect with your community. And then number five, you will expand your horizons by being a volunteer. Okay, so five sentences. Five sentences you're taking from the five benefits. Okay, it's very easy. So make it into sentences. Also, you have to write the sentences in the paragraph for the email in your book 25. Don't forget to write the intro. Same goes, you have to write your intro. Dear Imanul. Okay, I want to tell you about the benefits of being a volunteer. So, subject also the same. Benefits of being a volunteer. Okay, do not make it too long. Uh, I know you want to be a volunteer. No, 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 no. Okay, do not waste your words because you are, you are writing more in your paragraph about the content. Okay, so same goes. Uh, write your uh, introduction. Write your content and then don't forget, that's all from me. Thank you or I'll write to you soon. Thank you. Okay. And then your name. Okay. You can refer to the uh, first email to see the example. Okay. I think that's all class. It's very easy. So make sure you write it. Okay. Your email. Exercise 2 and exercise 3 only. Write the email for exercise 2 and exercise 3. Take a picture and send it in Google Classroom so I can check it. Okay. It's very simple, but make sure you do it. So just in case you get it in your final exam, you not you will not be surprised. Okay? Alright, I think that's all. Make sure you write. And then any questions, you can ask me later. Alright? Okay, that's all from me. Thank you, everyone.